In this video, we will be talking about um, a specific lesson in the exercises 1.2 of Mr. John Coburn's pre-calculus textbook. We'll be answering numbers 29 to 36 in this specific exercise. So, as stated in the instructions, uh, we have to find the reference angle associated with each rotation. Then find the associated point x, y on the unit circle. So, the first thing that we want to do is to convert, as you can see in the given, uh, literally every given here is theta expressed in radians, just as how it should be. Um, but in order to find the reference angle that's associated with each rotation and the corresponding x, y, uh, we have to convert theta from radians to degrees. So in general, formula from rad to deg is um, 180 degrees over theta. Multiply the current theta with um, 180 degrees over theta. Oh, I'm sorry, over pi. Okay, so let's try number 29. Uh, theta is equal to 5 pi over 4 times 180 degrees over pi. Uh, hold on a sec. I hope you have your scientific calculators with you since um, most of our computations here will be using calculators, if, especially if you're new to this lesson. So for the sake of the lecture, we'll be using calculators. Uh, what we have, if we put these values in the, scientific, in the cycle, we get... 225 degrees. So, now that we know theta is um, 225 degrees, we need to identify um, where this is in the Cartesian plane, uh, whether in uh, either in quadrant 1, 2, 3, or 4. So, let's say Q1 is 0 degrees to 90 degrees. Q2 is 90 to uh, 180. Q3 Oops. Oh, damn. Uh, Q3 is 180 degrees to 270 degrees, and Q4 is 270 degrees to 360 degrees. And so, uh, for with theta being equal to 225 degrees, I suppose that it's within this range. It's in quadrant 3, whereas um, x and y, they're, um, how do you say this? Um, their signs are negative, negative. So in the Cartesian plane, this is quadrant 3. Um, x is negative, y is negative. So yeah. Um, with that, uh, we know um, let's um, try to enumerate what we have within quadrant 3 so starting from 180 degrees then plus 30 which is 210 degrees then plus 15 which is uh, 225 degrees and another plus 15 we get uh, 240 degrees so we'll be stopping there. Okay, so 180 degrees, we have, um, this is equivalent to um, pi, since um, in the previous videos, uh, it was stated that uh, one, uh, 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi. We'll keep that in mind. Uh, 210 is... Uh, by the way, um, in order to solve these questions, you have to already know the basics of the unit circle, how it works. Um, let me give a brief um, discussion here. So we have something like this for quadrant 1. Once you memorize what we have in quadrant 1, it would be easy to um, see what we have for quadrant 2, 3, and 4. So, 
Um, this one is pi over 6. This one is pi over 4. This one is pi over 3. Such that pi over 6, we have uh, square root of 3 over 2. Then 1 over 2. This one is square root of 2 over 2. Square root of 2 over 2. And there, we have 1 over 2 and square root of 3 over 2. We have something like this. And uh, if you want to apply this concept with the other quadrants, um, there is one thing that we need to know, that you have to know. So just note that pi over 6 will always be near the x um, axis of the Cartesian plane, no matter what. And the middle will always be pi over 4. And um, the value that's nearest to the y axis will always be pi over 3. There. Um, the solution is quite messy, but I hope it does um, give you a certain concept. Feel free to search for um, the actual unit circle diagram. It's a lot cleaner if you want to see it in the internet. But for now, I hope this gives you what you have to know for quest question 29. For 210, uh, by the way, let me enlist. This is 30 degrees, 45, then plus 15 we get uh, 45. 50, 60 degrees, and this is 90 degrees, this is 120 degrees, this is 135 degrees, 150 degrees, and this is 180 degrees, uh, this is 0 degrees, 360 degrees, uh, pi over 6 here is um, 180 plus 30, which is 210 degrees, so I hope you're getting the hang of it. Um, you can see 210 here and so 210 plus 15 we get 225 degrees and another plus 15 we get 240 degrees and plus 30 we get 270 we add um 30 we get 300 degrees and plus 15 315 degrees plus 15 330 degrees and plus 30 we get our way to 360 so there's also one thing you need to know about the unit circle. For 360 degrees, uh, it's equivalent to 2 pi. For 270, uh, it's equal to 3 over 2 pi. For 180 degrees, it's equivalent to just pi. And for 90 degrees, it's equal to 1 half pi. So yeah, that's everything that you, ha that you have to know for the unit circle. It is pretty ugly, but yeah, it's straight to the point. Uh, for 210 degrees, as you can see here, it's uh, pi over 6 in a um, specific formation, wherein uh, for pi over 6, this is, um, these are the associated points on the unit circle. You have to note that pi over 6, it will always be, um, the x will always be uh, square root of 3 over 2, and the y will always be 1 over 2. So, right now, uh, uh, for a while, um, given that we have pi over 6, we know what the x and y is. Um, just write them like this. And because our, we, ha we are in quadrant 3, by which um, the x and y coordinates are negative, so we just put negative. This is the final answer for number 29. Right, let's remove this. Uh, I hope it does. Uh, the unit circle I illustrated here does give you quite the idea. Right, for number 30, uh, pi is equal to 5 theta over 3. Uh, again, let's, con let's convert it from radians to degrees. So in your calculators, 5 pi over 3 
times 180 degrees over pi. So 5 pi over 3 times 180 over pi. Our answer is, oops, dang, it was a big mistake. I hope, um, kindly disregard that clip. You know, you know yourself, you want to learn, so if I were you, I'd disregard that. Um, I'm not showing any insecurity, it's for your own good. Uh, if you want to learn, you will be honest to yourself. Back to the topic. Uh, 5 pi over 3 times 180 degrees over pi. Um, theta is 300 degrees. So, given 300 degrees, uh, it's part of... So, here, let's draw a Cartesian plane. This is 270 degrees and another 30 degrees, we get... We fulfill the quantity of 300. And the rest is... Uh, this is... The remaining is 360 is 60 degrees uh but at least we know that the set of value lies in quadrant four so quadrant four uh it's basically from 270 to 360 wherein for the um let's say in sci scientifically speaking uh, the charges so um, if you've heard about the concept of ions, a topic that which I'll be, I'm planning to make a, a video about that one. But right now, let's say the charges are, for quadrant 4, the x values are positive and the y values are negative. So, positive x, negative y for quadrant 4. Uh, let's, let's remove this already. Uh, so... Quadrant 4, let's start with 270 degrees, and then 300, and then 315, and 330. Okay, uh, what's their difference? What are their distances? So we had plus 30, plus 15, plus 15. So 270 degrees, as I stated earlier, it's 3 over 2 pi. Uh, by the way, um, I'm sorry if I'm pretty fast in um, discussing how these questions are to be answered. I'm already assuming that you know, you, you familiarize yourself you know, with the unit circle, so you can keep up. If you familiarize the unit circle, you can keep up with my pace. So yeah. Uh, for 300 degrees, it is... Um, wait. It's, it's a lot harder to solve without illustration so 300 is about here and uh, it's, we have something like this in the graph right in the Cartesian plane and this is pi over 3 this one is pi over 4 this one's pi over 6 and um, Pi over 3, so now that we know it's pi over 3, uh, we get coordinates of this. They're not random. I did not write this randomly. If you've seen the unit circle earlier, the value of pi minus pi over 3 corresponds with this um, specific um, associated points. And because our uh, our associated points are... In quadrant 4, we copy their um, customs. So x is positive, y is negative. This is the final answer. All right, we finished 2. Let's proceed to 31. Now, um, as you can see here, what's the, differ the difference between um, the, these problems for 31 and 32? What did I do? Why is there no 32 there? Anyways, um, these problems have negative uh, sign, while the problems that we solved earlier don't have any negative sign. What's the difference? Uh, well, the difference only is that um, before, we used to like trace the quantity um, counterclockwise. This time, because uh, the value is negative, 
we measure or we trace the value of this theta in degrees um, clockwise in clockwise motion. So it's going to be quite confusing, but um, you'll get the hang of it. And once you get the hang of it, uh, by practice and yeah, just by practice and you'll get used to it eventually. All right, uh, number 31. So theta is equal to negative five pi over six times uh, 180 degrees over pi. So negative five pi over six times 180 degrees over pi theta is 150 wait negative 150 degrees so with the negative value for theta in degrees uh, let's see let's make an illustration here um, 150 degrees uh, we end up somewhere here and we get a spare of, of 30 degrees there to make a full 180 degrees. So this is uh, 150 degrees positive, but this one is negative. So basically we look for the inverse. Um, hang on. This is quite confusing. Well, it's normal to have it to make it um for it to be confusing at first. Uh, the value here is two hundred ten. How? Um. So let's draw something like this. So for two hundred ten degrees, basically, uh. Since it's uh wait. Right, we have um, 180 degrees plus 30. This is the next value. So with that said, um, 210 degrees is associated with pi over 6, which holds um, an, associated, as an associate degree of, um, or whatever you call those values, uh, associated points x, y. Uh, you have three square root of three over two and one over two. Okay, and because our answer, uh, basically in an indirect sense, negative one hundred fifty degrees is equivalent to two hundred ten degrees, which is in a which is a positive integer. So, uh, we're in quadrant three. Which is in uh, which has negative negative, negative x and the negative y, so. Let's compile these together, uh, so pi over six, semicolon, um, negative square root of three over two and negative one over two. This is the final answer. Okay. Uh, Let's move to number 32. Uh, theta is equal to negative 7 pi over 4 times 180 degrees over pi. So I'm already assuming that you know the drill. Uh, we've already tried this. Uh, we've already talked about this a lot of times. So I'm already expecting that you um, know the drill. Negative 7 pi over 4. Put these values in the calculator. Um, you get an answer of negative 315 degrees. So let's find negative 315, or let's just disguise it as 315 in the Cartesian plane. Uh, so from 270 plus 30, we get 300, plus 15, we get 315. So um, this is 270 degrees, this is 300, this is 315 degrees, this is 330 uh, degrees, and this is 360. So 315 degrees refers to, um, wait, we, we cannot really dive into that for now. Uh, hang on, the, the value is negative, eh? so uh, 
Uh, uh, for a while. Um, hang on. I got lost quite a bit. I'm sorry. Uh, for 32 degrees. For, for the record, um, number 32. Uh, Alright, um, let's try to make some assumptions right now. So, 150 plus 210, it's basically 360. So, from here, negative 315. 360 minus 315 is 45 degrees. I'm starting to believe that um, the other answer is... 45 degrees which is in quadrant 1 okay so let's remove this um, so 30 45 and 60 45 we're in um, we have pi over 4. Since it's the middle value, uh, we get the associate points of uh, pi over 2 and another pi over 2. Since they're both, uh, since these values are in quadrant 1, x and y are positive. This is the final answer. Right. Um, I think we've consolidated our technique for um, given we have a negative um, degree for theta. Um, in order to find the other degree to solve the to make to actually find the final answer, um, we minus it with the total of three hundred sixty degrees. So as you can see here, um, for number thirty one, three hundred sixty minus one hundred fifty degrees is uh two hundred ten degrees. Finding um the details of two hundred ten degrees led to the final answer, and for number thirty two. Uh, 360 minus 315 degrees, we got the um, answer of 45 degrees. We found the details and that's the final answer. The details that correspond to 45 degrees uh, according to the unit circle. So let's move to number 33. Uh, 33 is equivalent to uh, 11 pi over 4 times 180 degrees over pi. So theta is equal to, like, put the values in the calculator. It might take quite a while. It's really easy to say, but yeah. Uh, theta is 495 degrees. So as you can see, um, the value is greater than one round trip in the unit circle. It's greater than 360, so... So what's, what's the solution now? In the first two problems, we were, uh, we were faced with values that are within the scope of one round trip or within 360 degrees. For numbers 31 and 32, we were faced with problems such as theta is equivalent to a negative um, degree value. And for numbers 33 and 34, we'll be facing um, values that are larger than 360 and how to um, cope up with them, how to find a way to solve. So we won't be using any inverse techniques here since there's no negative um, sign in the theta expressed in radians in the first place. So first thing you want to do is make a circle. So 360. Uh, you um, minus 360 from 495, so we get 135 degrees. So this one is 90 degrees, so 135 minus 90 is 45 degrees. Here, 45 degrees, and the remaining ones are 45 degrees in order to reach uh, 180. But that's not the case. We will be focusing on these three values. And with that in mind, we know that 
495 degrees is um, in quadrant 2. So negative, then positive. Negative x, positive y. Now, uh, hang on. So 495 degrees. I think it ended perfectly in pi over 4. So pi over 4, um, it has square root of 2 over 2 and another square root of 2 over 2. And since it's in quadrant 2, x is negative, y is positive. This is the final answer, I suppose. Okay. Uh, let's move on to number 34. Theta is equal to 11 pi over 3 times 180 degrees over pi. Theta, so put the values in the calculator. 11 pi, oops, dang. Slippery hands can really be disastrous, especially if you're in a rush. So be careful when you type your inputs in the calculator. Um, so we get 660 degrees as theta. All right, uh, let's, let's draw a mini Cartesian plane here. Okay, so let's make one round trip, 360 degrees. So 660 minus 360, it's 300. So 270 degrees and 300. Okay, um, this is pi over 6, pi over 4, and pi over 3. Pi over 3 is exactly at 300 degrees. Um, this is, so 360 plus 270 plus 300, we get the total of our theta value. So ending at 300 degrees, um, it landed perfectly at theta over 3, which has the associate values of um, 1 over 2 and 3 pi over uh, 3, the square root of 3 over 2. Um, so let's put those values. Anyways, uh, quadrant 4. Our theta is at quadrant 4, wherein x is positive and y is negative. So uh, we have positive 1 over 2 and negative uh, square root of 3 over 2. And just put a semicolon assembling um, theta over 3 beside it. This is the final answer. Okay. Uh, I hope everything's pretty clear. Uh, we have two questions left. Number 35 and 36. So theta is equal to 25 pi over 6 times 180 degrees over pi. Okay. Uh, 25 pi over 6 times 180 degrees over pi. We get 750 degrees. Okay. Um... So how many 360s can fit in uh, 750? Two, approximately. So 360 degrees and another 360 degrees and 30 degrees such that the remaining would be 60. But something tells me that um, even this is, this is the most logical way to write or to illustrate 750 degrees in the unit circle given this um, basic Cartesian plane illustration, um, you have to switch this, oops, and this one. There. For some awkward reason. Um, I couldn't really say, but I really have a gut feeling that this is, um, there's a reason behind that. There is a mathematical rule behind it that we're not supposed to disobey or disregard. But anyways, 
um, even so, we could already um, see that 750 degrees lies in quadrant 1. So positive x, positive y, and uh, it's quite really, it's pretty hard to explain um, in verbal form. But if you understand the concept, you can apply it, you can get used to it. So I'll do my best to explain uh, as much as I can. So from 30 degrees, um, pi over 6, as always, is the nearest to the x-axis. So it is most likely the value for 35. There. And since in quadrant 1, everything is positive, this is the final answer already. Don't get confused, um, 30 degrees was placed here, not for its logical positioning, um, but for some another, for some other reason. But yeah, uh, let's move on to number 36. Pi is equal to 39, I'm sorry, theta is equal to 39 pi over 4 um, times 180 degrees over pi. Theta is equal to, right, put the values in the calculator. 39 pi over 4 times 180 degrees over pi. We get 1,755 degrees. So let's see how many 360s can uh, fit in 1,755. Okay. So let's see. Um, let's make our computation now. Uh, I hope you have your scientific IQ. Um, 360 times 4 by estimation. Or 360 times 5. No. Um, 360 times 5 is 1,800. It's already higher than our current theta value in degrees. So that's not what we're looking for. Um, but even so, I found out uh, that 360 times 4 is 1440. There you go. Uh, 360 degrees. 360 degrees. 360 degrees. 360 degrees. So that's 4. And 1755 minus 1440 is 315. So another round trip. So we have here 270. So 315 minus 270 is 45, 45 degrees. So we exactly have um, pi over 4 and the rest reaching to another 360 is 45 degrees. So pi over 4, uh, by default its associate points are these ones and because uh, 1,755 degrees um, landed in quadrant 4. We have a positive x and a negative y. So, let's apply these knowledges together. We get uh, pi over 4, semicolon, um, positive 2, positive square root of 2 over 2, and negative square root of 2 over 2. This is the final answer. Right, finished. Let me just check my answers real quick. Yeah. I hope you do understand the lesson, even though it's, the, the pace is quite fast, faster than usual. Okay, I think we're all set. This is everything for this video. We've answered numbers 29 to 36 of exercises 1.2 of Mr. John Coburn's pre-calculus textbook. Thank you for watching.